Hello fabulous ones, welcome back to my channel. I am Marlo Keenan, and if you're new here, welcome to the Fabulous Family. Today, we're gonna to be talking about my top 12 indie brands. I'm so excited to do this video. I've been thinking about this since last year, and in 2020, I truly believe indie brands are just gonna be coming up. I mean, they are up and popping. They are making their way through, and I just wanna be super supportive and represent some of these indie brands that are coming out. Okay, before I forget, I forgot that I want to announce the giveaway winners for this month. I'm actually picking two because I missed last month, I believe. I missed the month of December. So I'm going to pick two winners today. Again, this is just a little token to show my appreciation for all your support. As Again, it could be a mascara, it could be a bottle shampoo. Who knows? I don't know. But the two people who won the giveaway are Christine Miller. Yay! And Isa Kimro. I will get in touch with both of you guys. I'm so happy that you won this month's giveaway. I hope you appreciate the little token of my gratitude. So, if you want to know my top 12 favorite indie brands, just keep on watching. But before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, so you don't miss any of my future uploads. Now, let's get into the video. get right into this video I'm super stoked because y'all I'm telling you indie brands are doing their thing and there's so many out there some of these that I'm gonna be talking about I am really actually to be honest with you super late to the game and the first one I'm going to talk to is one of those and that is pinky rose okay I have this palette exotic peacock now pinky rose a pink see I don't need to be dropping nothing uh, pinky rose apparently came out in 2014 they are owned by three sisters in california they have a whole bunch of products on their website ranging from product tools lippies they're cruelty free and all that jazz here's one of their palettes they have several other palettes um, on their website and i really really like them i mean they have colorful palettes Hence, you guys know I love a colorful palette, okay? Cool tones, love them, love them, love them. And these, this palette here in particular, I've used several times already, and I absolutely love it. I've actually been using kind of the same shades. Uh, you probably can't tell, but um, I really do love this palette. You know, they shadows blend out beautifully and all of that jazz, but, you know, again, I was super late to the game. I got this palette like the end of last year, so, and I just started using it, so I'm definitely going to be purchasing more products from Pinky Rose. The next product I want to talk about, you guys all know about, it is Juvia's Place, um, an indie brand, Juvia's Place. Um, this is a masquerade palette. I have several. I wasn't trying to bring them all out because it's not necessary. Um, I have about four of their palettes. I want more. They came out with uh, a lot more palettes the end of last year, and I just haven't uh, gotten any, but I do want more. They have foundation now. They have concealer, and that foundation is off the chain. When I tell you that foundation photographs so beautifully, it really does. So this is... um. The Masquerade palette here uh, is very beautiful. Oh Lord, I'm hitting pan on one of the shades already. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> but this is a gorgeous palette. Their formulas are really, really great. You know what I'm saying? They blend out beautifully. They're really high pigmented. I have never had an issue with Juvia's Place palettes or any of their products for that matter. Um, I think, you know, they've been very successful these past few years and they keep on doing their thing. So congratulations to them. The next indie brand is Sugar Pill. I feel like Sugar Pill kind of like, I don't know, I don't feel like it's being talked about that much anymore, but I still love their stuff. They have glitters, they have pigments and all that. They're like single shadows, and I got this as customized shadows. I bought the palette itself, and then I chose all of my shadows here. They're beautiful, of course. Look, of course, you know they're colorful. And plus, again, they're great products, you know what I'm saying? They blend out great, highly pigmented, really love Sugar Pill. I really wanna go ahead and try uh, some of their lippies. I never tried their lippies before. All I have is, you know, their shadows and I think I have a glitter. 
um, but mostly this palette I use so it's a wonderful brand so yeah I'm gonna be continuing to support them sugar pill is also cruelty free because I know a lot of people want to know that these days the next indie brand is a brand that everybody knows and it's still indie it is makeup geek makeup geek has been around for a long time and the owner marlene stell she just came out with this matrix system palette she rebranded everything i am an affiliate with makeup geek you can get 10 percent off if you use my code all the information will be down in the description bar but oh my god actually i got <laughs> I'm wearing this right now actually on uh, my eyes is this entire road this eye look I did film it probably is in a video before I even post this one so you guys already saw it so I, I used this whole entire row right there if you didn't see it though I'll link it above um, and yeah Marlena so I can't say anything bad about that woman like in my opinion and my perception of what I've seen of her and about her she is a woman of integrity I really really like her I respect her she's been in the game she knows what the hell she's doing I like Marlena and one of the things especially when I'm an affiliate with somebody or a company I really want to not only like the brand I just want to like uh, what their CEO represents and all of that jazz so yes makeup geek I will continue to support the next indie brand I want to talk about is Violet Voss oh my god Violet Voss got some bad shadows man like I'm bad isn't good <laughs> I, I mean this palette right here is so gorgeous I absolutely love it I have another palette um, of hers as well this palette is just so pretty and I don't know why don't people be talking about these folks or maybe I'm just not you know privy to it but oh my god I'm gonna continue to support this brand because I love the shadows they are also cruelty free you know she has lashes glitters lips all of that stuff on the website so go check them out I'm gonna continue to support Violet Voss I'm telling you I can't really t uh, tell you more about the shadows I really love it I really do I feel like I'm all over the place because I got everything I want to talk about right here and I'm like <laughs> the next indie brand I want to talk about is Kalin Cosmetics Kalin Cosmetics I am an affiliate with Kalin Cosmetics you get 15% off all that information down below okay Kalin Cosmetics is a great brand the owner is absolutely amazing great morals great values she puts back into the community and that is something I truly love but some of her products that I uh, love are these mineral dust powders here uh, this shade particular I have had to pick this up first uh, this is in turquoise this has to be my favorite shade at the moment and I do have where is it it's called opal and what opal is is so is so unique I don't even have it right here I must, it must be in my other uh, container because I have the containers right here but it has this uh, wonderful shift to it like this purpley shift to it and it doesn't even look like it when you apply it at like when you look at it at, you know at the container it doesn't look like it's gonna shift the way it does and it's just got a beautiful shift so I absolutely love Colleen Cosmetics. She has some skincare up there. I think she's also uh, having some new skincare formulated for 2020. Please go check out Colleen Cosmetics. The brand is amazing. The products are amazing. They have set and sprays, all of that jazz. That's one of another uh, popular product that Colleen Cosmetics has is our set and spray. And Colleen Cosmetics is also cruelty free. Wonderful, wonderful brand. And I'm going to continue to support Colleen Cosmetics. The next product I want to talk about is Ace Beauty. I love their palettes. I just received a palette in a boxy charm and I actually gave it away and I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm partnering with it because it looked so beautiful. But here's one of the palettes here. It's absolutely beautiful. Apparently, you know, I did some damage right here. That was me. Um, but these shadows blend out beautifully. They are pigmented. I mean, you can't go wrong with Ace Beauty and they are making their way up in the game. I'm telling you that right now and I'm going to continue to support them. All right, the next indie brand I want to talk about is Gerard Cosmetics. Now, you guys already know that I'm an affiliate with Gerard Cosmetics. You can save 30%. All that information is down below. My favorite products when there's several is, you know, the set and spray, obviously. This is actually the collab with Rich Lux. This is Dreamsicle. And oh my god, this 
just I can't even tell you how good this smells I just I want to take a bath in it okay for real and of course the lippies the glosses the metals the lip creams the BB illumination cream I mean all the products that I have are just absolutely fantastic and again another CEO that I respect and love she's actually a friend of mine I mean she is just amazing and I you know I respect her as well integrity and she knows what she's doing with her products and she's also cruelty free I can't say enough she's amazing the brand is amazing go check it out if you don't know nothing about it okay okay the uh, next indie brand is artist contour and let me tell you guys I ain't even know that artist contour CEO was back daddy how I ain't know that crazy but anyway I'm just learning that but artist contours highlighters are Bum. okay these are loose highlighters I'm telling you if you want to blend and highlight you need to go check them out I absolutely love their highlighters and I'm gonna continue to support artist couture for sure all right the next indie brand I want to talk about I know I'm getting through this right I feel like I'm rushing but I'm not but you know I don't want the video to be too long um, and I think I'm pretty sure she's considered an indie brand um, it's Tati Beauty. Uh, I'm going to continue to support this brand. Although she don't have that many products out yet. I know y'all know, know she's going to be dropping stuff. I mean, come on now. It's Tati, okay? And so this palette, I love this palette. I really, really do. I can't say nothing bad about this daggone palette, okay? I love it. And I think she did her thing with this palette. She came out with it. It was classy. I like the way she introduced it. I loved everything about it, okay, and I love the palette. And she also has that beauty blender, beautiful, but hold on, here it is. The blendiful right here. I'm about to film this review tomorrow probably, and I haven't even opened the package because I'm going to open up on camera. So I'm excited to do that, but nonetheless, I am supporting this brand in the future because I just love the products, okay? So plain and simple. The next brand that I want to mention is Be Perfect Cosmetics. Y'all already know about this palette. She has another one out. I uh, absolutely love this palette. I actually won this palette in a giveaway, to be honest with you. Um, and that is how I... I didn't discover it that way, but it was the first time that I tried the product and I absolutely loved it. Be Perfect Cosmetics has lips. They have brow products and all that jazz on their website. I absolutely love this formula. I love the shadows. They blend out great. I'm going to continue to support this brand moving forward and I look forward to other things that they come out with. Last but not least is Midas Cosmetics. Here's one of their palettes. I have several. This is the Flower Bomb palette. Great palette. Beautiful colors. I have the High Times palette, which is my favorite palette. Let me show you those, these shades. It's a green tone palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. Pigmentation is there. All of that jazz. Midas Cosmetics is definitely one of my favorite brands. I am an affiliate with Midas Cosmetics. I got a code and all that jazz. Um, but I love the owner. She is amazing. She's so sweet. Um, I think she's really doing her thing this year. I'm so proud of her. You know, she actually just came out with a collab with Smoky Glow. I'm so excited to review that palette in the next few weeks. Rocio is a sweetheart. I love her to death. And I will continue to support Midas Cosmetics. All right, guys, that is all my 12 indie brands that I just wanted to talk about with you guys. Hopefully, some of these brands you may not even heard of. I really encourage you to go out, check out their website, look at the reviews, get some things, try things out for yourself, because I promise you, I'm not going to steer you wrong. These are really, really great brands. And moving forward into the future, what I'm also going to do is do a video on brands that I want to try, because there's so many indie brands out there that I haven't even tried and I want to go ahead and move forward with that because I just I just want to support them you know what I mean especially if I like their products I'll get the products I'll try them out if I don't like it you know whatever and but if I do I want to go ahead and make a video on all the things that I want um, at least to try it I want to make a video on all the brands that I want to try out this year so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the indie brands that I discuss. Again, go try them out for yourself. And you already know, until my next video, y'all, I love you. Bye-bye now.